Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Excel Bytes with today's Excel blog post. Today we're going to take a look at the selection pane. This is going to be a quick video today. It's just something, a simple little tool that Excel offers to help you manage your objects that you have in your worksheet. So let's take a quick look at selection pane. Now here I have a worksheet with several objects. I have some pictures, a text box, a chart, a smiley face, etc. And I want to be able to find them easily, uh, maybe hide certain ones, delete them, etc. And there's lots of ways to do that in Excel, but one way you might find that's useful, especially if you have lots and lots of different types of objects in your worksheet, and that is with selection pane. Now there's three different ways to activate it. First, you can go to the Home tab, and in the Editing group, you'll see Find and Select. If I click the down arrow here, I can choose the last option here, that's Selection Pane, and notice it pops up here. Uh, two other ways I've listed down here, you can use the keyboard shortcut Alt F10, or lastly, you can use the key strings Alt H, F, D, and P, and it brings that up. And notice it shows it as docked, but I can take it and move it uh, anywhere I want and have it basically be a floating object unto itself. I'm going to move it back and dock it here. Now notice it lists the four pictures, the chart, text box, etc., and it lists them in the order that I inserted them on my worksheet. So for example, if I go up to the Insert tab, and I'm just going to pick a shape, maybe something like an arrow here, and put that here. Notice it now put it at the very top, it says right arrow and number 10. So it'll always keep those in order. Now if you want to rearrange the order on this list, you can do so quite easily. You can highlight it and you can use the up down arrows to again send them back or bring them forward in your list. Now you can also use the selection pane just to choose your objects. Let's say you want to choose the right arrow. I can hold down my control key. I can choose the triangle and maybe the text box and notice all three are currently selected. I can delete those if I want by just hitting the delete key. I'm going to hit control Z to bring those back. I can also just hide certain ones. For example, notice down the right column is an eyeball type icon. If I click any one of these, notice it makes that object hide or disappear. It doesn't delete it, it's just hiding it from view. If I click show all, it'll bring all those back. Or I could have just clicked uh, on just one of those to bring that one back instead of all of them. Again, I can click on that for show all, or I can actually click to hide them all, and that will hide all the objects within my list. Again, this can be a very useful tool, especially if you have a lot of them stacked on top of each other. So let's say, for example, I'm going to take several of these objects and I'm just going to stack them on top of each other here. And based on the order that they are in my list will be how they are shown or how they are stacked or layered in, in this area here. So for example, if I want to take the smiley face and bring it forward to the top, I can select it and then use the bring forward arrow here to bring it to the forefront. Same thing with the triangle, I can take that, maybe bring that forward, and now I put it on top, and it would be in the top layer. So this is a way that you can organize various objects in your worksheet if you have them layered, or you want to bring one to the top, or reorganize them as to how they're layered within your worksheet. So this is a nice little tool that Excel offers, and it's called Selection Pane. And there you have it. I hope you like what you see. If you do like what you see here, please take a minute to share this post on your favorite social network. I can be found on Facebook, Google+, Twitter, LinkedIn, and YouTube. So I hope you enjoy this. If you'd like to see more, please feel free to stop by my website, excel-bytes.com, and I hope you subscribe. So have a great day, and happy excelling.